Okay, hi. Hari ni kita akan masuk part 2 dalam kita punya things you need to know before we go into topic 1. Okay. So, kat sini we have 5 example but I want you to focus on the 3 main example here. The, these 3 main example here will always pop up dalam soalan-soalan physics most of the time lah. So, how do we, for example, convert question A, 45 millimeter square into something with a square. Okay, so kita nak hilang milli dia lah macam mana. Most of the student do 45 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter square. Ha, dia orang ingat ni betul. Sebenarnya apa? Ni salah. Kenapa salah sir? Bukan ke milli negative 3. Okay, here's the um, the learning here. When you have something with the power of square atau apa yang sini ada kuasa lah. Tak kisahlah square ke cube ke negative ke apa. Dia akan darab dengan kita punya prefix di sini. Okay, darab dengan prefix kita. So, the actual answer is 45 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square. Ini baru betul. Okay, again, kalau ada apa-apa kuasa dekat kita punya units di sini, it will multiply to the prefix punya power there. Okay, please be very careful. Okay, now let's go for question B. We have 37 kilometer per hour. Okay, so example using kita punya um, kita punya motion here will always pop up dalam most of the time lah. Okay, bukan always. Most of the time pop up dalam kita punya topic 2 and topic 3. So, how we convert 37 km per hour into something in millimeter per second. Okay, so 37 km. What I taught my students atau I just the I, I bought hour di ke bawah. Okay, so it becomes 1 hour. Okay, so you can see here it's not the SI unit yet. So, kita kena convertkan ni kepada SI unit dia. 37 times 10 to the power of 3 meter. Nampak tak? Dia tak darab apa-apa sebab meter ni kuasa 1. Okay, so tak payahlah. So, darab 1 je lah situ. So, 1 hour sama dengan 60 minit. 60 minit bersama dengan 60 saat. So, if you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, it's 37 times 10 to the power of 3 meter per 3600 second. So, you should get you punya answer 10.3 meters per second for question B. Okay, so simple, apa-apa yang ada kuasa negatif, bawa, bawa. That's the thing you need to know. Right, for question C pula, 30 grams centimeter negative 3. Okay, again, we use the method negative, bawa turun menjadi 30 gram per centimeter cube. Nampak tak negatif, bila bawa kuasa negatif, bawa bawah jadi kuasa positif. Now, again, we use the method of changing the prefix besar kecil-kecil besar iaitu simplifykan dia, 3 darab 10 kuasa 1 Tolak dengan kuasa yang kita nak tukar. Gram kita nak tukar kepada apa sini? Kilogram. The question here. So, gram kepada kilogram. So, tolak kuasa negatif 3. Eh, tolak kuasa 3 sebab kilogram kan uh, kuasa 3. Kurungan. The units that kita nak tukarkan di dalam kilogram. Per 10 kuasa negatif 2 meter cube. Okay, 3 ni akan darab dengan kita punya negatif 2. Okay, so kita akan dapat 3 darab 10 kuasa negatif 2 kilogram per kita punya 10 to the power negative 6 meter cube. Okay, so here kita akan dapat 3 darab 10 kuasa 4 kg m negative 3. So, bila kuasa 3 yang positif bawa naik atas balik, kita akan dapat kuasa negative 3. There. Okay, so here are the 3 main examples that I want to show you lah. Okay, again, kalau benda tu bukan di dalam SI unit, contohnya macam KMH negative 1 here, you need to convert it into meter per second. Okay, now let's see question D kita. We have 29 micrometer nak ditukarkan something into meter. So, it's simple enough. Okay, these two example here bukanlah nak kata important but I just want to show you that sometimes when you calculate you punya question dalam physics, kenapa you dapat contohnya, kenapa saya dapat kurang 10 ganda daripada jawapan, kenapa saya, saya punya ni kosong uh, uh, buat kosong lebih kurang, okay? So, it's usually sebab, it's 20, okay, kita tengok kita tengok example, 29 times 10 to the negative 6 meter, okay? You can also write this as 2.9 times 10 to the power of 1 darab 10 to the power of negative 6 meter, Becoming 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meter. So, nampak tak ada dua jawapan kat sini? Both of them betul. So, kadang-kadang dalam fizik, you get sometimes 10 kali ganda besar, 10 kali ganda kecil, tengok balik prefix you. Okay, that's the learning outcome there.
And then question E, simple enough, 23 meter per hour. Again, negative 1 ni you bawa turun bawah menjadi 23 meter per 1 hour. Which is 23 meter per 3600 saat. So, you should get 6.39 times 10 to power negative 3 meter per second. Benda yang bukan dalam SI unit dia, kita convertkan di dalam SI unit. Okay, so the main tick di dalam ni, apa yang ada kuasa, you darabkan dengan prefix dia. Kalau kuasa tu negatif, you bawa turun bawah to simplify and kalau you contohnya benda dalam gram atau benda dalam meter, you nak convertkan into kilometer, simply use the things that I taught you in the part 1. Okay, so tengok balik if you tak faham. Okay, thank you. Jangan lupa like and subscribe. See you in the next video for topic 1.